Welcome everybody to the Compass Charity Gala this evening and thank you very much for coming along and joining us. I hope you're enjoying yourselves and I'm really grateful for your participation. Of course we wouldn't be here tonight without the support of uh, Matthew Murray and the Sunshine Coast Cricks team who've contributed the wonderful car that's on offer tonight and one of you lucky people are going to drive away with that. Um, so thanks Matt and, and the boys for a wonderful, uh, wonderful gesture. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Compass and its history this evening and give you a bit of background. Um, many, for many of you this might be the first time that you've had an interaction with our organisation. We started out 26 years ago providing alternative education programs to youth at risk. It was a small community organisation, um, the staff of whom numbered one, being me. And my intention was never to form an organisation as such. This was, this was my personal quest. I'd made a decision in my life that I wanted to do, spend my time doing good things, doing significant things and making a difference. Slowly but surely, uh, people became attracted to that, that vision. So a number of people worked with me over 15 years in the school settings, providing those alternative education programs to young people with challenging behaviour. It was really rewarding work, really tough work. Uh, I ended up doing some work for a number of local special schools because they had young people with intellectual and physical disabilities who also were experiencing um, challenges in their life and we were able to help them through our programs. And it put me in touch again with the disability sector and the issues uh, and the uh, problems that faced those young people when they'd completed their secondary education. So again, when the disability service started in 2003, um, the staff uh, is the person you're looking at. And uh, so, you know, I did the banking, I did the, the post office, I did the cleaning, um, everything. And again, slowly but surely, people got attracted to that. I, I didn't deliberately set about creating an organisation. It was, it was secondary as people, good people became uh, attracted to that vision and the opportunities are provided to also make a difference with their time. Of course it's grown into the organisation that it is today with some 60 staff, 140 odd young people, five centres, seven social enterprises, thousands and thousands of supporters out in this community and, and communities further afield, corporate partners like Crick Sunshine Coast and so many others who've been invaluable supporters of our organisation, local media organisations. I can't possibly name all of them, but all of them have found that they too had a sense that they could make a difference and make a contribution to these lovely young people and their lives and their families' lives. So I'm really grateful for the support that you and other people have given us along the way. So the past 15 years with Compass have just flown by and I guess um, like all of you, I'm not looking back at where we've come from very often. My mind and my eyes focused on where we're going and I wonder what we can achieve over the next 15 years taking this organisation out uh, at the moment where, where our scope is from Kabul to Gympie but I'm always conscious of the young people in other communities who don't have the same opportunities and then the, the chance to add more dignity to the lives of these young people um, very, very quickly, I just want you to put yourself in this situation for a moment. You're, you're a new parent and you've just given birth to two children, twins, twin daughters. One of them is born completely normal. The other young person has been born with an intellectual and physical disability. I just want you to think ahead for a moment about the trajectory, the life trajectory of those two young people. The challenges they're going to face, the challenges you're going to face. The opportunities that will exist for your child who does not have a disability and the lack of opportunity for your other child. Up to secondary school, you can kind of get by. There are support systems in place. Post-secondary school, there are very few assets in this community that allow us to provide a dignified setting for these young people to engage in further learning, training and vocational opportunities. That's my vision, my goal is to change that. But that's something we have to do as a community. It's not something one person can do. 
So again, thank you very much and, and I hope that we're standing here together in another 15 years looking back proudly at what we've achieved together. Thank you. I'm Jasmine and um, I'm the team leader who looks after the animals and um, so I've been here four years. Thank you for everyone for supporting us at Compass and um, for coming for tonight. Hi my name is Glenn Randall. I love coming to Compass and I've been here for 10 years. Thank you for coming to tonight's um, gala dinner which raises money for Compass. We appreciate your time for coming. I'm from Queensland. I love Compass very much. And I love doing jar work, cooking, doing lunch work. Thank you for coming tonight. <coughs> My name's Jasmine. I love cooking with Kyle and Tina. And I like Kyle, that's a great teacher. And I love campus, like Andrew, Tina and Carly and my friends. Thank you for coming guys. Good evening, my name is Andrew, I'm the uh, campus manager of the farm. Just want to say thank you for supporting the gala night. Have a wonderful evening. Hi, I'm Sophie. Thank you for everyone coming to gala night for campus. I know my favourite song is playing right now. And on TV. It's called This Is Me. Hi, my name is Caitlin Larson and I've been at Compass for five years. Thank you everyone for coming to the gala tonight and for raising money for Compass. Thanks everyone, thank you very much for coming to tonight's Compass Charity Gala event. Um, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who's here. It's so important that um, charitable people get together on nights like this and, and you all are charitable, so thank you very much for coming. Um, I first started working with David and the, the Compass group five years ago and I think my first involvement was just sponsoring a, a golf day and I'm not too sure what we raised. We raised something but it pales into insignificance. Tonight's the biggest event that we've done and uh, we're quietly confident it'll raise enough money to support um, the Compass Institute with the supply of two new buses. Um, and for one lucky charitable person that's here, you'll get to drive away in the new car supplied by Creek Sunshine Coast. Um, these sort of events don't, don't just happen with ease. David and I spoke for the first time about this particular event some six months ago, and the planning's been going that whole time. And I'd like to thank all of the people at Compass and all the people at Creek Sunshine Coast that have worked towards tonight. But most importantly, I'd like to thank every single one of you because your efforts and your charity are what make this work. Um, for me personally, my involvement with the Compass Institute is not an option. Um, Creek Sunshine Coast, we employ 240 people and I guess my first priority when I wake up in the morning is to them and to their families. But uh, second and not far behind is the Compass Institute. It's dear to my heart. We get to do one good thing um, and that's the one we choose. And the reason we choose the Compass Institute is here on the Sunshine Coast, they're here, they live amongst us, they're part of our community. I get to see what they do, I know where my charitable money goes and I get to see it in action and I know for a fact that the Compass Institute put every dollar that they're given into these young people. So thank you all for coming tonight. Sit back, relax and I look forward to giving away a car in just a couple of hours. G'day guys, Dan here from Crick Sunshine Coast. I'm the dealer principal of Crick's Nambour and Crick's Noosa. Uh, we're out here at the, the Compass Farm and uh, you know we really want to thank everyone for turning out tonight. It's going to be a great night buying a table on the at the at the event and also a seat on the bus you know we can't wait to see compass in the uh, in the new Renault bus and as well as the wheelchair access to the back it's going to be a great uh, a great advantage for the compass team and we look forward to seeing you out at the compass cafe for a coffee thank you
My name is John Fitzpatrick. This is my daughter Sarah and my wife Libby. We would like to thank you all for attending the Compass Gala function tonight. And I find it very hard to have the words to express my gratitude for what <coughs> Compass has done for Sarah and for us. When Sarah finished school, we were at a loss as to where she was going to go with her life. Fortunately, we met Compass and David, and it has been absolutely fantastic what he and the Compass organisation have done for her. That organisation has allowed Sarah to develop and mature and become a really worthwhile member of society. I feel deeply within myself that without this organisation, <laughs> that without this, this organisation, Sarah and lots of other young people like her would probably be sitting at home watching TV or DVDs all day long. <coughs> the range of skills that she has has allowed her to go out into the community and just be one of the blokes in everything that she does. Through Compass, Sarah works at our local bowls club and helps with the kitchen rush. Fantastic. I don't think she would ever have had that opportunity before. Thank you, David. Thank you, Compass.